Patients with early stage disease usually get some combination of surgery, radiation, and chemotherapy. And then they wait, and it's really anxiety provoking, and we don't have right now good tools to detect when disease is starting to come back and might need more aggressive treatment. My research interest is in blood biopsy and how to take a tube of blood and track patients' disease using that blood. Until now, the gold standard for cancer diagnosis and research has been a surgical tumor biopsy. But a surgical tumor biopsy is invasive and painful. It may pose risk for complication. It wasn't that long ago that I thought that this was more like science fiction than reality. And what has happened is that blood biopsy is becoming a reality. And that is finding tiny fragments of the DNA from the tumor actually circulating in the blood. And you can capture them in a regular blood test. You can send it in the mail to the Broad or some other laboratory and identify the mutations that are in the tumor simply from a tube of blood. The main benefit of the blood biopsy compared to a conventional biopsy is that you can do it a lot more often. You could do, you know, every three months, every month, every week, uh, and it allows you, therefore, to study the behavior and the evolution of the cancer over time. At first, scientists said, well, can we detect a particular mutation when we already know that it's there in the tumor? Check. Yeah, we can see that. Then they asked, well, what if I wanted to look at tens of genes or maybe a few hundred genes? Check. Turns out that's possible. Keep pushing the envelope. Now Broad scientists have demonstrated that it's possible to look at the entire genome from blood biopsy, which is pretty spectacular. We've shown that a blood biopsy uncovers the majority of genomic information as a surgical tumor biopsy. And we've also found that this can be done for a significant fraction of patients. And that's important because it now opens a door to studies that we could have never imagined doing before. So if you want to think about studying you know, a million cancer patients and understanding what are the mutations in their DNA, it may be easier on certain levels from the blood than it is from the cancer. It's also enabled us to reach patients who aren't just at major academic medical centers, but anywhere uh, across the world. One of the major goals of the cancer program is to pursue the complete genetic and cellular characterization of cancer. By accessing patients' tumors directly from blood, it's enabled us to go above and beyond what we could have imagined doing from uh, conventional tumor biopsies and really profile extensively patients with types of stages of cancer that are simply rarely biopsied in clinical practice. And this gives us the chance to to understand therapies, to understand how they affect the cancer and how the therapy and the body and the cancer are all interacting with each other and potentially gives us then the point that we have knowledge that will allow us to improve the therapies or to improve our choices of therapies for patients. Many of the patients I see are so anxious about whether their disease is going to come back, when will it come back, has it come back, and how do we know whether it's come back, and it's really frustrating. And to be able to have a tool that could detect that for them is unbelievable. It could really change how we care for cancer patients.